Wait for it. I'm ready. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? What are we trying to do? We're trying to tell a polynomial inequality from a graph. Oh boy. I got x's on both sides. Want them on one side, which I don't care. That's an x to the third, uh-huh, plus a 3x squared. I'm gonna subtract off that 6x, subtract off that 8, great, and then that needs to be smaller than zero, because I backed that math up. I got it all on one side, and what else did I do? For you, I went and I graphed that guy. That's the graph of that polynomial. What are we looking for? We're looking to see where it is smaller than zero. Smaller than zero means below the line. For which x values is that polynomial below the line? So then we go and we look. <clears throat> it's below the line on these x values. Let me get a different color in there. So then, so then, so then these x values make that polynomial below the line. Look, the polynomial is above the line. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for where the polynomial is below the line. So then we look and see, oh, these x values make that polynomial below the line. But then what? Over there, the polynomial is above the line. So we need a way to write this guy in interval notation. Look like it's the most leftist part. I'll just take that over here. Where's the most leftist part? Oh, it's way over here at minus infinity. Okay. Uh-huh. And then to where? Looks like that's all the way minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So it's minus infinity to minus 4. Sure. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to onion that up with what? This. I'm looking for where it's below the line. What? This blue one is below that white one when x is in between minus 1. Zero, one, two, three. Ah, so that's a that's a, a minus one, two, three. Onion that up, and then what? Um, box and flower. Sub zero. Finish him. Box and flower.